okay we are returning with another video and today this is a little bit more on the theory we are discussing accounting concepts for the very first time now depending on uh, uh, the region or country that you live in all right uh, every country have their own uh, financial uh, reporting standard right frs and if you aspire to become an accountant, all right, to become a licensed certified chartered accountant, uh, there may be slight differences here and there, right? But uh, the general principle, the general concepts are mostly similar. Now we're going to use some example from Investopedia, all right, mentioning on the GAAP, and in future, uh, the more sophisticated accounting work that you do you also may be required to prepare things like non gaap okay which is cash basis uh, for extra reporting so let's go through some of them all right here you have 10 principles of accounting concepts or principles over here uh, there are some different words which uh, we use and are very different from my uh, previous accounting education also so even as i uh, go through this education review, right? I'm also learning something together. First one, principle of regularity. All right, uh, mostly very straightforward, all right? Uh, very, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, all right? Uh, it is very on face value, all right? Regular, okay, following the regulation as a standard, all right? So uh, this one, all right, we'll just brush it off, right? Just quickly move on, right, to the, second part of it consistency all right so consistency concept um dictates that a, a, an accountant all right when he tries to process the accounting transaction uh, there are some uh, financial events which require the accountants to apply the same methods example depreciation if the company have been using uh, a method example like straight line method or reducing balance method then it is uh, prudent right it is good that the method is being applied the same consistently from month to month all right from year to year All right, sincerity, right? Accurate and impartial depiction of a uh, financial situation, right? This is a bit more to the auditing part of it. All right, uh, you have a term like true and fair view, all right? So when the accountant prepares it, all right, the he is to make, make sure that the work is correct, all right? So that's why you need the help of an uh, internal auditor if you have it. If not, uh, you compulsory need a uh, uh, external auditor when you go for a listed company contacts all right some new things here right now permanence of methods a bit similar with the number two all right consistent comparison of financial information all right you find it is a bit overlapping here okay so maybe some extra things to add on is that allowing comparison of the company financial information uh, not only to the same company but also across different industry i'm oh, sorry across the same uh, across the different companies in the same industry all right so for example within the same company uh, the investors all right may be interested to know and compare your cash flow statement uh, from let's like, say last year and this year right so it is important that the accountant used the same methods All right, so let's continue, all right? Number five, non-compensation, all right? This is a little deep, all right? So we may skip this one for now, all right? Because right now you are still, all right, not exposed to things like positive or negatives. Uh, very rarely used term, all right? So we try not to give you too much of this uh, dimension, all right? Prudence, or you can say conservatism. Uh, this is uh, quite important, all right? Uh, it's more like an attitude of an accountant. When you say prudent, uh, that means that the accountant tries, all right, to um, to make sure that the figures, all right, the number in the account is not 
by speculation or it is not overstated especially when it comes to revenue and it is not understated when it comes to expenses so it's a bit similar like con being conservative right we don't want to give a picture which is too optimistic especially when money is concerned all right quite different from marketing guys huh? so yeah but people from the marketing said yeah you know we can achieve our sales target all right uh something like that right but accountants have a very different mindset continuity right they're also very important make sure that company can also operate if not let's say the company is going to bankruptcy process uh the way we treat some of the items like fair value accounting will come in uh gonna come in maybe much later in stages all right so don't worry for now e real d city means that it is going to spread through appropriate period of time like say uh per six month or per three month or per year right so we don't jump all right if we don't jump say that we are preparing account for 15 months 80 months all right so no all right we are following the period materiality sometimes you see the word material it means importance all right it is important for accountants to disclose all financial data all right in this case it is material all right those items all right uh which shouldn't be omitted all right you should put it in all right in fact even a transaction like 10 cent all right you should put it in also because this will uh, uh make sure that the account they are prepared is accurate there are actually more concepts which uh there are actually more uh, nuances uh, as especially when it comes to this materiality concept right uh let's say like stationary right stationary is normally a very small item so it can be treated as uh expenses by most company but if you find that let's say you are a stationary company you bought a lot of inventory then according to this concept all right it's going to change the nature in which you deal with this account but uh, because we only explain the theory, all right? So we just go for first, all right? Utmost good faith. All right, so this is a bit, uh, I would say this is something very new, all right? Uh, some of the extra new principles here uh, almost overlap with the, the way or the attitude uh, of an accountant, right? Mostly going through the, the behavioral side of it. So you have the things like uh, the accountant must make sure that he is in good faith. He must be honest, uh, obviously, right? Okay, must be honest when you deal with uh, the, the account, okay, the data, all right? So you must make sure that, all right, the transaction is not tampered, all right? Uh, there's a famous saying, eh? you, you shouldn't use liquid paper, all right, uh, when you write your accounting work, all right? So if you want to reverse something, you cannot use an eraser. Surprise, right? You can't use an eraser when you want to correct your past financial recording. Very, very important. No such thing as delete, all right? Whatever is written stays written. If you want to make changes or amendment, you are going to make adjustment, right? That's why we say adjustment. All right, GAAP, I think, yeah, there are certainly more than that, all right? There are more principles than this. And if you follow some of the other standard textbook, they, you're going to see the terms like uh, going concerned. Uh, we have covered things like historical costs. Uh, there are actually more, all right? Like just now I mentioned things like fair value accounting, uh, cash basis, all right? All this. Uh, over time, you'll find that these kind of concepts are going to govern the way or guide you all right through the process of treating some of the uh, more ambiguous accounting information all right so hope that helps all right uh there are certainly more readings on this when it comes to the accounting equation sorry accounting concepts all right and we will see you with another video thank you very much